What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So the new Shiba Inu documents are released. I took some time to kind of process everything because as I read it, right, I pretty much read it and jumped right into a video without really processing everything. And I wanted to take some time to process it and give you guys where my head is on the burn rate, the effectiveness of Shibarium and, you know, how I feel about the documents released and where they should go from here. Now, I kind of gave you a little bit of a blurb, kind of like a raw reaction to it in that video. If you guys want to go and check out the original video, you can definitely look at that and you'll see my thought process there. But I kind of wanted to, you know, break it down a little bit more and uh, just give you some some thoughts, some more um, thought of thoughts if that makes sense uh guys hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell for more videos like this one also make sure you guys check out some of the links that are in the description if you guys want to sign up for any exchanges or anything like that i do appreciate it um but let's talk about the two projects the two uh you know tokens that i'm looking at the two have an effect within shibirium right you can see other tokens that are going to have an effect but let's focus on the ones that are that are king of shibirium and king of the ecosystem you know bone and shiba inu right when you look at both of them you expected a larger impact of everything and you're not really seeing that impact of bone right you see a two percent increase but it is at a dollar 13 and we saw this at two dollars plus um you know recently so it's kind of starting to come back uh, to earth, I guess. But then you're seeing uh, Shiba Inu that also has not had an impact, but is still sitting at a level of a $6 billion market cap. Still a $6 billion market cap, that's a lot. Um, but they haven't really had as much of an impact. So these two are like king and fake king, right? And it depends what you're looking at, right? If you're looking at Shibarium, uh, Bone is the king, Shiba Inu is the fake king. If you're looking at the ecosystem or you're looking at everything from the investor's eyes, Shiba Inu is king, Bone is the fake king, right? So you have two ways of looking at it. But with this information, we were hoping that Shibirium would have a massive impact for both of them, right? Whether they're fake king or real king, we were hoping that we were going to have some sort of an impact for both projects. And it doesn't look like, in my opinion, that Shibirium will have as much of an impact. And uh, there's one part of it, um, well, there's multiple parts of it, but there's one main part of it that really uh, catches my, my eye, catches my attention of, uh, you know, why I believe we're not going to see a massive <clears throat> impact, um, which is right here, right? It's not about this part right here where it's one cent, right? Where the transactions are very, very low. Transaction fees are very, very low. So what's the point of even getting it? It's this point here. Right, you're probably like, what are you talking about? You know, currently, uh, Shibarium POS system provides the following services: send, receive, and store your assets on Shibarium network uh, with Shibarium wallet, Shibarium bridge, cross network withdrawals, deposits, um, <clears throat> staking with Shibarium, and uh, staking and getting rewards and and staking right here. So, <clears throat> if this is the reason, right? Because I don't see a a major way to where you're going to see a, a, a straight up buy of a position on Shibarium, right? I don't know where their liquidity is coming from. Is it exchange liquidity? Do they have a larger form of liquidity for all of these coins I, or tokens? I wanna know exactly what's gonna happen there. And that's the thing is I don't see a lot of buys happening on this platform. I see a lot of purchases happening um, somewhere else, right? If you would have seen that they're going to be, yes, they said withdrawals and deposits, cross chain withdrawals and deposits, but just send, receive and store, right? We're not seeing that you can just buy or purchase. And I understand how you have deposits, but you're depositing a certain amount of, of money or depositing from another place. It's kind of a play on words. So like when you think of a deposit, Sometimes what you will see is that you're able to transfer uh, tokens from another platform. That would be a deposit. You're depositing your tokens in there. Um, it doesn't necessarily say buy the position. And that's where it starts to get kind of cloudy for me, right? Because um, if you can't buy the position, that's a large chunk of volume or transactions that you're not going to see. What's the point of me, let's say, if I have to buy over on Coinbase? If I buy over on Coinbase, why don't I just hold on Coinbase? There's no point in me putting it over to Shibarium or pulling it over to Shibarium because I bought on Coinbase, right? Like, yes, you can have a certain uh, coin over in, let's say, your MetaMask wallet or whatever wallet you have, 
<clears throat> and you can transfer, let's say you have Ethereum, you can transfer for a cheaper price, um, but you buying Ethereum already, you already paid a fee. And a lot of these exchanges offer you paying a cheaper fee than if you bought in a wallet. So if you're not gonna buy over here, then you're not gonna transfer in Shibirium. If you're gonna buy over here, why would you transfer to Shibirium? That's where it starts to really cloud my, my judgment, how much of an impact <clears throat> that you would have with Shibirium overall for Shiba Inu and for uh, Bone. And I'm not trying to be, um, you know, a fudster. I'm not trying to be all negative. I'm trying to get the answers in any single situation and just giving my honest opinion. And I hope that people respect it. Um, but I'm not saying like, oh, I'm giving up on Shiba Inu because of it. I don't think Shiba Inu is kind of, or Shibirium is the last hope for Shiba Inu. We have a larger community. We have 1.3 growing to 1.4, maybe even 1.5 uh, million holders within the position. Shiba Inu is going to be fine. Um, but whether Shibirium is going to have an impact on Shibirium, I'm not 100% sure. It will have some impact and anything's better than nothing, but I feel like they may be doing things a, a little bit um, on the too cheap of a side, right? Um, and I've always thought that they wanted more money, which means that if you see a higher price, uh, something that the base fee will always be covered by that higher price. And yes, the fee will fluctuate or whatever. But if you had a base fee, let's say if everything um, total equaled up to a dollar, right? That would have more of an impact for Shiba Inu, have more of an impact for Bone, and it would still be cheaper than all of these other places, right? Uh, I understand that if you're transferring over to Shibirium, it's gonna cost you less than a penny and it feels great to be able to make those transactions over there. But if you can't purchase directly through there, um, I feel like that takes a big part out of um, what you typically do, right? I feel like a lot of the transactions are not gonna flow over to Shibirium, even though it may be uh, a popular um, you know, platform. I don't know if we will see a lot of it. And it just depends, right? There's a lot of different stuff, right? Deploying uh, smart contracts is a lot of different stuff that could um, not force people's hands, but, you know, push people over to this platform, which creates more transactions. The building could create more transactions, but the standard uh, transactions that we're seeing um, in the, in like, um, you know, CEXs and all these other wallets and stuff like that, some of them, a lot of them may not move over to Shibirium. It's making me think that the impact will be a lot less. Um, but also to get into the burn uh, portion of it, I know I just talked about that one feature for uh, quite a bit of time. Um, but to get into this piece of it, uh, just processing it, it doesn't look like uh, Shiba Inu will even, <clears throat> unless they somehow change this and they could change it. It's it's their platform. They can change whatever they want. Um, it looks like with with any type of um, you know transactions and things that are happening that are less than a penny, uh, it's going to take a very, very long time, a lot of transactions to happen. And even on exchanges, you don't see that many transactions happening. So it's kind of not pushing me away from the platform. I'm still going to be interested to see all of the different effects as I use it. Um, but I think they need to rethink maybe some of these fees and make the fee a little bit higher. I don't know if anybody has really ever said that, hey, make the fee higher. But when you're a part of a community that really wants to burn down supplies, whether that be Bone or Shiba Inu, I feel like you need to rethink that. Um, because less than one cent is way too cheap. Um, and this is coming from someone that understands business. It's like you making a product for, let's say, a penny, and then you selling it for, for three pennies. Yes, you're tripling what you ended up uh, doing that for, but it, it's so cheap that you want to find a way to be competitive with everybody else, not to just, uh, you know, completely control the market with a super cheap price. If you are competitive and know that your room is from, let's say, um, you know, three pennies to the competition of being $3, then you have so much room in order to compete with them. And if you're closer to where they are, but then realize that if you if you ever need to dial it back, you can dial it back. You continue to dial it back until you get to a comfortable level. But to start out at the lowest level possible and then have all this room between you and layer one Ethereum, it's kind of weird to me, right? I feel like you're giving up a large opportunity 
um, to see a lot of bone, um, you know, be purchased, be be swapped, be used. Um, a lot of Shiba Inu to be burnt, uh, used, swapped, deposited, whatever. Right? You're looking at a lot of opportunity that you are missing. This is opportunity lost right here versus what could be opportunity gain. So I don't know. That's just my opinion. Um, I feel like things could be changed. You never really know. They control the the product. Um, they control the platform. But I just wanted to give my honest opinions, right? I wasn't live yesterday. I didn't talk about anything yesterday. And I wanted to talk about it, but I just didn't have the time to do it. Um, but today I'm here to talk about it and give you my honest opinion. Um, and hopefully you um, don't have to agree with it, but you hear it. That's all I ask for is that you hear the opinion because I hear everybody else's and maybe some people are overly positive and I'm okay with that, right? I'm listening to you guys and hearing what you guys have to say. Yes, I am judging it by the things that I am saying and things that I believe, but I still do hear you, right? So anyways, guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. I'm gonna get out of here and we'll definitely talk about this a lot more, but uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video.